MASH weekday afternoons at 4 and 5. sounds better here in the studio than it sounds on the three-inch box on your speaker. We have some live music here tonight, courtesy of Mr. Mike Renzi, who's on piano, Rufus Reed on bass, and Donny Osborne on drums. All three of these gentlemen are backing up Mr. Mel Torme, who is currently breaking it up at Marty's up on 73rd and 3rd here in New York City. He's here, I think, for uh, until the, uh, well, Mel will tell us how long he's going to be here. He opened last Monday night. It's his first time back in New York in five years, and it's certainly good to have the former Velvet Fog and the current Mel Torme back on the scene. Uh, Mel was with us, I think, about two, two and a half years ago when he wrote a book called Winner, a fictional story of a singer, which a lot of us thought was partly autobiographical on Mel's part. Uh, but he's back tonight to talk not about that, but about his uh, return here to New York, his fantastically successful concerts at Carnegie Hall earlier this year, his plans for the future, and his memories of the past. Mel Torme happens to be one of the great trivia experts, nostalgic trivia experts in this country, and he probably knows who was the original Tarzan and who was the original Jane. A lot of people think that it was uh, Johnny Weissmiller, but that's not correct. I think I'll leave that. Uh, I beg your pardon? No answer. Uh, no answer was the guy's name, yeah. <laughs> so Mel will join us shortly, and he has agreed to do one number and one number only tonight, and you're going to love it. We are proud to welcome back tonight a gentleman uh, who has produced, I think, the most response of, I'm going to say, any guest we've ever had on this show, and that's, that's saying a lot because they number about 3,000, 3,200 people that we've put through the mill here in the last seven years. Sterling Hayden was here to talk about his book, Voyages, three years ago, and we spent an hour, uh, he spent an hour philosophizing about the world and what it had done to him and for him, and what he had done to the world and for the world. And I think we've repeated the show two times since his original appearance, and we still get requests for more Sterling Hayden. Tonight you get more. Mr. Hayden is back now from uh, Yugoslavia, where he went to cover the funeral of President Tito, Marshal Tito, for the Rolling Stone magazine. A funny part, well, it's not funny, but the interesting part of his assignment there is I think he passed on a motion picture that would have paid him $200,000 to go and do this for the Rolling Stone, and he will tell us uh, his observations on the uh, funeral of President Tito. I understand that Sterling is back writing again. He's cramped up in a hotel room here in New York before the typewriter day and night, and he will join us shortly. So we have Mel Torme and Sterling Hayden, and I don't want to waste a lot of time here, so we'll be right back after these messages with Mel Torme and Sterling Hayden. Last show of the week, so stick with us.